Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. Back to our Playwright series. A very quick thing that we are going to talk about today is that uh, how to select a specific element on the basis of their visibility. See, this is what I'm talking about. In the previous sections, we have already seen text, frame and selecting elements inside the Shadow DOM. This is another really nice feature. Let's see, I'll put it at the fourth position that selecting visible elements. It means I'm going to interact with only those elements which are actually visible. So to give you the concept, uh, to understand this concept, I have created one simple code over here, like simple dummy HTML code that I have created. These are the two buttons and I have given this property like a display colon none. It means uh, this button is actually invisible on the page because of this style display colon none. And there is one more button uh, that is button visible. So I want to interact with only that button, which is actually visible on the page. It means which does not have this property display colon none. For example, give me all the links which are actually visible on the page. Give me all the images which are actually visible on the page. So you can create one visibility filter there. How to create that? There are two options you can apply here. The first option is that you can just simple write. For example, there is a button and then give me that the button is visible or not. That's it. Or you can simply say there is a button and then you can apply the visibility uh, filter. How to apply the visibility filter? You simply write visible is equal to true here. That's it. So these are the two things that you can apply either of this or this one. So let's see how to do that. So I'll just start this HTML. I'll open this HTML in the in the browser. So I'll simply go live and uh, see this is the thing. I'll just open in the Chrome browser so that I can show you the uh, DOM as well. So let's open in the new browser over here, here. Okay. And here you can see this button is only visible because we have only a visible button is there. This button invisible is not available because if I remove this style from here, for example, see, and then simple save it. Now it will show you invisible also. And again, you put the property that is a style is equal to display none. This is now invisible now. Okay. It's not visible on the page. You inspect this guy, but inside a DOM, if you inspect this, that visible, it's available. And then the non visible also that invisible also, it's actually available. That is display colon none. So because of this style property, it is not visible on the page, right? So I just want to interact with this button visible. Let's say I want to capture the text. I want to click on it. So if you click on it, nothing will happen, but let's say I want to capture the text of this button. How will you do this? So this actually HTML is running on this particular server. So we will uh, use this one. So I'll simply write page dot navigate to the specific URL. And then I'm writing page dot a locator and whatever the locator is there, that is the button colon visible. You just need to write it and then give me the text content of this because you can use dot click also. But right now, let's say I just want to capture the text that should be that should give you visible only. This is the text of the element. Simple write button and then give me only that button, which is actually visible and give me the text of it. And then you store inside the text, which is equal to this system dot our talent text. So let's see this is working or not. So this will be very helpful for such use cases where let's see there are similar kind of elements are there. Give me all the inputs which are only visible. Give me all the links which are visible on the page. So let's see it's printing the see visible text on the console here. Absolutely working fine. So you can use this also or you can use the filtered visible filter. Also, you can use that. For example, you just need to write uh, there is a button and uh, simple this one and then you write visible equal to true. That's it. So button uh, these two special characters visible equal to true. That's it. And then again, you run it. So let's see if this is working or not. So now you can see that. Yeah, this is also giving you visible on the page. Perfect. So very simple example. You can use it like this. Now let's take a better example. Let's go to Amazon application. I'm going to comment it out this one. And then I'm going to launch another URL that is navigate. Let's see amazon.com. So there are multiple links which are available on the page. So I'll say, okay, fine page dot locator. Give me all the links. And I know that all the links are uh, associated with the a tag and uh, give me a colon visible. <laughs> That's so nice. And then do what? Then all inner text. It means collect all the links 
and then give me the text of each and every link and then you store inside the see because all inner text will give you the list of a string so you will store inside the list of a string here it will give you the entire text and let's see this is my links uh, text which is equal to this import this java.util list and uh, you just need to print it so i can create a for loop here so i'm going to write a simple for loop integer for example i is equal to zero i less than what the links text dot up to the size of this and then colon i plus plus and then what you want to print system dot or print allen this is the links uh, text dot uh, get method and then pass the i there so let's see this is working or not so i'm just going to capture the text of each and every link which are visible on the page so let's see it is working or not this is so nice right so amazon.com is getting open and uh, we can just open the console from here and here you can see on the console it's printing all the links which are available on the page can you see see there are some links which are having some blank text also that also you can filter it out that also we can do that but maybe those links are having a visibility but with they are having some a blank text that's why you can see some blank text also coming over here but it's giving you all the links which are available on the page and which are visible actually it will ignore all the non-visible elements or invisible elements okay same thing if you really want to capture the image you just need to write img over here now in fact you can use with the xpath also you know with this visibility filter that you are using you can use with the xpath also for example let's see i'm looking for all the images which are visible on the page with the xpath so we know that how to create the xpath here so simple let's say i really want to find all the xpath so double slash img you have to use it's giving you 227 so two forward slash and img this is the kind of xpath for all the images on the page i'm using simple html tag of the img now i'm looking for all the images which are visible on the page with the xpath so that also you can use it simple write page dot locator and then let's see i'm writing xpath which is equal to what which is equal to uh, two forward slash img and then visible equal to true you have to use it this visibility filter flag you have to use it and give me the count of it right so i can simple directly write the count and then i can store inside the images count equal to this and let's see how many images we are getting so i'm just simple printing total images count okay so first it will print all the links text and then it will print the images count so let's see it is working or not so it will check all the images which are available on the page it will give you the count of visible images okay so here you can see 228 images are available which are visible on the page here we were getting 227 maybe one extra image got added so here it's giving you the exact 222 visible images so you can apply with xpath css anything that you can use that okay so simple that's very easy very straightforward you can use with the text also that you can you can also try with the text to whatever the text is equal to for example the text is equal to login that you are looking for and then visible flag equal to true you can write it that as well so this is also give me that login button or link or something where text equal to this and that is also visible equal to true so you can apply this visibility filter like this so very straightforward that is like really great feature very simple feature that you can apply and then you can search for all the visible elements on the page through playwright so that's all for today guys thank you so much i'll see you in the next video till then take care and god bless you all